Okay, so now we're just going to uh, parent this together or actually uh, make these uh, IK handles and actually parent them into the FK uh, or the reverse foot um, skeleton that we've created. So let's do this now. Now, if we actually switch off the rig layer, it's kind of handy because it only leaves our IK handles behind. So just um, make sure nothing is selected. Now we're going to go back to our reverse foot. So we want to have the reverse foot. This is the one that we created in part one. And we want to have this visible nice and clearly. Uh, and once we've got this vis visible, it's very easy because we just need to go in and parent in uh, these IK handles into the joints that they're really like sitting right on. So there we go. So now we have these uh, these options in here going and <coughs> this is really great because what we can do is we can now just show our geo only so we have the original rig um, hidden and we can see how this works so we can actually select this joint manually now and rotate it up and, and all of a sudden we have a nice kind of like heel up control uh, we can select the, the joint right here on the end and now we can rotate it let's close this down and we have a lovely toe up control or we can select this back one here and tap it, it's like it's a tapping foot control and we have a nice tapping foot um, and of course we can move that last one too and we have kind of our nice reverse foot so it's very simple really, uh, a very simple setup ready to go and next we're just going to add the control and sort of hook this stuff manually so we've just got one control that controls all of this uh, it just it's a nice easy way for the animators to interact with this setup